All right, Mike. That's the way to do it. All right, folks, here's how we're rigged. Spinning rigs, uh, kumas, assortments, uh, guide select rods, uh, uh, inspiras. We're throwing jig head. This is a, uh, oh, what are they called? My hybrid with shrimp color. Shrimp color. But three eighths ounce jig head. H and H jig. H and H jig head right there. So that's what Mike's winging out. We're throwing assortment of baits, gabbies, uh, eels, just an assortment. But I want you to watch Mike and check his technique out here. Get these rods out the way. All right, he tosses it out and he lets it go down. Tell him about it, Mike. Letting it sink all the way to the bottom. Once I reach the bottom, I'm going to hop twice, gather up my slack, and as it sinks back to the bottom, I'm going to wait for the strike. Real simple. Oh, here we go. There's Joe at one. Oh, no, he snagged bottom. That's all right. That's the other thing, Mike. You got to be patient and not worry about the snags. I mean, it's part of life. That's why they're there, construction. That's it. We'll go ahead and get uh, Joe rigged up again and get back at it. Stay tuned. So there's who. We've got the gang from Blue Cross, Mike, Captain Mike Gallo with us. What? We're fishing speckled trout. Where? Highway 11 Railroad Bridge. Let's go check out the map feature. All right, folks, here's the map feature. Now, we're launching out of the Wrigley's. That's right off of Highway 90. Uh, you can pick it up by 433 from I-10, or you can take it in from Highway 90 for, through New Orleans East. So we came in through 433, My, Captain Mike Gallo's place, is uh, right on the highway, so it was really convenient. We just came down, launched at the Wrigley's, came into the Wrigley's, and started heading towards the lake. Got into the lake, followed the markers, and just took a, a basically a westerly course until we came over to where I-10 crosses the lake, the twin spans, then there's the Highway 11 Railroad Bridge. We ended up fishing this section of the Highway 11 Railroad Bridge. Excuse me, this is the car bridge. We're down here working the south shore, uh, close towards Irish Bayou, that part of the Highway 11 Railroad Bridge. Now, once the lake started getting rough, it was kind of cool the day that we were here. We had a cool front that came through um, that weekend when we were fishing here. So our backup spot, with the lake got rough on us, we came back into the Wrigley's same way, followed an easterly course, came around, but ran down the Wrigley's and fished this northern bank of the, the Wrigley's. This, this is where that big drop-off is. You'd be surprised how close you can get to the bank. You're in 20 feet. That's what we're working, a little 20-foot ledge there where it comes up close to the bank and we're catching the fish as they come out of the deep water of the Wrigley's on that north bank and get up on the flat to feed. So there's your map feature. This is the areas that we've been working with Captain Mike on our couple of shows that we shot out of uh, the lake as the, the fish turned on here uh, in the summertime coming right out back into the lake and really working over that Highway 11 Railroad Bridge. Get him, Mike, get him. Swing him in. Now, of course, you know, folks, Bob <coughs> Netless Gouge, of course, left the net in the truck. So we catch that 13-pounder, set the record, uh, It'll be a fish car. It'll be an angling adventure, <laughs> which is the name of Mike's uh, business. Now, I got to tell you, Mike, we really enjoyed staying at the new lodge. Awesome. Awesome accommodations. Brand new, rebuilt right there on the Wrigley's Canal. Life is really good. We're really having a good time. We'll be here filming a couple of days with the gang from Blue Cross, Captain Mike. Guarantee you we're gonna have fun as you can see. So stick with us. I can tell you that right up front. <laughs>
<laughs> you think that's the key, Jeff? <laughs> there, is a, there is a big difference. <laughs> Folks, I don't know if you heard that comment, but at any rate, Joe in the back of the boat. Let's take, get a shot of Joe back here. Joe, Joe, Joe what, what, what is, what is, uh, now I call him Joe Morgan, but what is your real last name? Joe Morton. Mort, just like the salt. Right. And, but we call him Morgan because the boys of spring and summer and all are getting ready, you know, so we changed his name a little bit and he doesn't mind, as long as we don't call him, uh, what'd you say, Joe? Little too early in the morning. Too early in the morning. But uh, Joe just said, right when we were getting ready to start, he says uh, to Greg, he says, uh, Greg, you think there's a difference between an insurance man and a professional fisherman? And <laughs> you can see there. No, just a little bit there, Joe, not much, you know, just a little bit, you know. But technique makes a difference. Real soft bites, guys, right, Mike? Yep, I mean, not really, not really hitting it hard. Very subtle. All right, stay tuned. Get him on in, Greg Cross. Did you see the way I took that fish off? And Good job, I, I don't yeah. think I've ever seen a release no, I mean, like yeah, that that's before. A, that's the way to release them, isn't it? When I grow up, I want to be like Bob. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there's a, there's a speck. I can, folks, I've gotten so good that I can just grab them, take them off the hook, so the angler can get right back out there. Believe me, I didn't knock him off the line, you know. <laughs> but anyway, we're putting a nice mess of specs together. Captain Mike's got us on it. He's teaching our group which is one of the big reasons why I love fishing with Captain Mike. You're going to see more of him on future shows, but he takes the time to get with the angler and show him how to work the bait. He's not going to out here to catch all the fish. He wants his, his, his patrons to have fun, and that's big when you fish with a guide. Get him, Mike. Oh, we got the swing here. Nice. Wow. All, I gotta, all I gotta do is touch the line and he, he's coming off, you know? There you go. Good keeper speckled trout here, folks. Right along the trestles. Really nice. Throwing them in the box. Now, I guess you're wondering what I got in my hand. Come around and check it out. I'll show you. All right, now it's key when you're fishing the trestles or the bridges that you stay out. So what I've got on our boat is an automatic trolling motor. I can control the swing of it from right here, the speed on off. I can put it down and use it as a platform too, but this keeps the boat far enough. Now, Captain Mike always insists that when you're fishing the bridge, you want to be able to cast the bait to where you can barely reach it. You don't want to get underneath it, that's where all the trash and stuff is. We're working the outside edge. So I'm keeping the boat far enough to where the anglers can't cast underneath, as per Captain Mike's instructions. When I get the boat in position, I kill it. It's my speed control. I can work the boat and let my guest fish and learn from Captain Mike. And that's our plan here. 